This extraordinary and factual narrative took place in Juneau, Alaska, one evening in 2003. Nick Johns, a wildlife photographer, found himself in his backyard, accompanied by his faithful Labrador, Dakota, when he spotted a black wolf nearby, fixated on him. Concerned for Dakota's safety, Nick cautiously approached, only to witness his dog unexpectedly darting towards the predator. Imagine Nick's astonishment when instead of a vicious confrontation, his Labrador and the forest-dwelling wolf commenced a lively game of chase and play. This wolf was remarkably calm and accepting right from the start, almost as if it had dropped from the sky, recalls Nick Johns, a former hunter, in an interview with National Geographic. Subsequently, the solitary wolf began to venture out of the forest more frequently, venturing closer to the city's outskirts with each appearance. Among the local residents, opinions about the animal's unusual behavior were divided. Some were torn between curiosity and the desire to forge a connection with the wolf, while others remained wary, mindful of wolves' inherent predatory nature and the instinct for self-preservation they evoke. Concerns arose among some residents that the wolf might be infected with rabies. However, Romeo soon earned the trust of Juno's dogs and their owners alike. It became evident that Romeo had no intentions of hunting. Rather, it seemed he had become separated from his pack and simply sought companionship. Nick's wife was the first to christen the wolf Romeo. Upon spotting the familiar silhouette near their home, she would exclaim to her husband, there's Romeo again. The name stuck and Romeo became a familiar sight. Despite his affection for Dakota the Labrador, Romeo was not exclusive in his interactions. He also engaged with other dogs, though he did have his favorites. For Nick, the relationship with Romeo was an opportunity to study and understand the wolf, and he endeavored to earn Romeo's trust. Over time, Nick's family became so fond of Romeo that they made efforts to keep an eye on him whenever possible. During Romeo's six years of interaction with Juno's dogs, Nick Johns captured numerous stunning photographs and penned a book titled A Wolf Called Romeo, chronicling their extraordinary bond. In a poignant interview, Nick Johns revealed that even today, many years later, he struggles to contain his emotions when reading certain passages from his book in front of an audience. Romeo was the single most transformative event of my life. I often find myself waking up at night thinking about him. His life and death are not something that I ever expect to get over, he confides. It wasn't just about our understanding and tolerance. It was the combination of his, ours, and the dog's. We were these three species figuring out how to coexist harmoniously. And we did, Nick reflects. He notes that many local residents were captivated by the presence of such a majestic predator and yearned to get closer to him. However, Romeo was exceedingly particular about his personal space. While he typically kept strangers at a distance of 100 yards, he would allow familiar individuals, both human and canine, to approach as close as an arm's length. There were several instances when I could have reached out and brushed my hand along his back as he passed by. But I never did, Nick reminisces, highlighting the deep respect and understanding that characterized his relationship with Romeo. For six years, Romeo served as an unofficial emblem of Juno, beloved by residents as their cherished companion. However, tragedy struck when Romeo abruptly ceased his visits to the frozen lake. It was later discovered that he had been illegally shot. In tribute to the extraordinary and friendly predator, a memorial plaque was erected by the lake, commemorating Romeo's presence in the hearts of Juno's inhabitants. Now, seven years following Romeo's untimely demise, the residents of Juno will have the opportunity to revisit fond memories of their beloved companion. An educational exhibit dedicated to the legendary wolf will soon grace the halls of the Mendenhall Center, slated for completion by the end of November. Spearheaded by Nick Jans, the individual who first encountered Romeo in Juno, the exhibit aims to immortalize the enduring legacy of this remarkable creature. The poignant tale of Romeo imparts valuable lessons on peaceful coexistence and respect for personal boundaries. Through this story, we are reminded of the importance of living in harmony with both nature and one another.